Hello everyone, my name is Allison, Princess of the Desert, and welcome back to my channel. Now today is going to be a little bit different of a video, so I'm going to start off by answering the questions you probably have, what am I doing and what is it with all these shoe boxes? Okay, so in this video I'm going to answer the question, I'm going to share some of the reasons why I do this, and I'm going to show you what is in this horse theme box. I made a horse theme shoe box, and so I'm going to show you, um, everything that's inside. So as always, out of the literally billion other YouTube creators out there, thank you so much for choosing to watch my shoebox explanation video today. Be sure and give this video a like and subscribe to see more of me in the future. You can also check out my second channel, Allison Adventure, and follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Candoring Gorgeous. But for now, let's get on with the video. So every year in November, Samaritan's Purse does this kind of charity collection where they get people to pack a bunch of shoe boxes to um, kids in need all the entire world ages 2 to 14. I have a video that I made last year, it's not that great, it was one of my first videos, it was kind of cringy, but um, I explained how I, you know, what to pack, how I pack, just a little bit more, I'm not going to go into that in this video. So last year I had like 10 videos up on this channel about showing kind of like um, what was in my boxes, like an unboxing, um, and I ended up taking them down, which is something that I really, really regret doing. <laughs> um, I wish I had just left them up. I was going through the stage, like the YouTuber stage, where you're really freaked out about the algorithm and you think you should let it control your life, and so I deleted all of those videos. What I realized that was really, really dumb <laughs> is those videos could have been growing and gaining me watch time this whole entire year, and I just threw them away. So this year what I'm gonna do is I'm going to not only share the, my boxes from this year, I'm gonna be putting those old ones back up. So if you think about it, there's gonna be about 20 of these videos showing what's um, in these boxes. It's in no way gonna replace my usual type of content that I work on making. It's just that I want to get them back up and I'm going to share with you some of the reasons why. So I like to watch um, people who share what they put in their boxes. Um, it's a great way to get ideas about what to pack. It's just like, oh, I never thought of packing that. It's also kind of like ASMR. I mean, I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's like you watch these people like packing all these little toys and these school supplies and all this cute little stuff in a shoebox, and it's just very um, relaxing, it's very peaceful, I don't know why, but, but personally that's just kind of the feelings I get from it, and so I really like to watch these kinds of videos. I know that shoebox videos, they're getting actually a lot of views, um, which is why I want to put mine back up. <laughs> anyway, they get a lot of views, um, probably for the exact same reasons, people looking for ideas and people who just enjoy um, watching them be packed. Now the reasons why I think that this is a really good type of charity that I want to do. Every YouTuber out there I feel like wants to be famous at some point in their video career, okay? I, I, I do. I, I really do want to be famous. The numbers of successful YouTubers keep growing every year, um, but recently we kind of had like a bit of a shakeup in the beauty community that was just really, really dramatic, and, um, you know, a, a whole bunch of different people just kind of going a little bit crazy because I feel like they got a little bit too carried away with their fame and their success. I don't want that to ever happen to me. I loved a lot of the, the YouTubers um, who had drama. I still love them, but I just, it was kind of like really shocking, like, wow, are you really seriously acting this way? It was just really kind of distasteful, I feel like. I do these shoebox videos as a way to kind of keep myself grounded and just keep myself in reality. And whatever I end up doing on social media, on YouTube, whatever, I always want to make sure that I stay within reality a little bit. <laughs> I am going to share these shoebox videos on this channel. I'm going to put the old ones back up. And I'm just going to use that as a way to say that no matter what happens in the near future, what happens in the next two years, the next 10 years. This was my effort at not just thinking about myself and 
hopefully it will help me to not get too carried away with whoever I become. Packing shoeboxes is, is really a great way to make you thankful and to make you grateful for what you do have. You know, I've been packing these boxes, I've been working on these boxes for the past like a good month or two. You know, such simple things you realize that there are other people out there in the world who do not have all of the nice things that we have. Packing shoeboxes has actually made me grateful for my toothbrush. Now I know that might sound really 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 dumb but but every time I'm in front of the mirror brushing my teeth I'm thankful that I have a toothbrush that I can keep up my dental health and that I have a really 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 nice luxury bathroom to do that in twice a day. I find looking for things to pack in the shoebox to be really really kind of therapeutic. Like one day I was having a really really difficult day and so I went to the Dollar Tree and I just like picked out some cute little stuff. Um, I got some like coloring books for little kids um, and some other little things and it's not that you have to spend a ton a ton of money. It's not about that. To me it's kind of like going shopping but it's not selfish shopping. You're shopping for someone else shopping for really cute stuff that you um, usually wouldn't. I don't have any younger siblings left at all so um, to go shopping for like cute toddler stuff or like you know dinosaur coloring books I just love that. I really do. I like the fact that I can get like my shopping fix but it is going to someone in need who really will appreciate and enjoy it. On the topic of like shopping I see it as like a budgeting challenge. Okay now I'm not saying that that all budgeting is fun because it's not it's totally not okay but if you made a set amount that you're trying to you know stay within that budget it's actually kind of fun at least I feel it's kind of fun um it's not life or death budgeting it's just like hmm I can think a little bit about what I want to buy what I want to go where how can I budget in a fun way and it actually go and help somebody who needs it and what I will honestly say because we've been doing this for years and years and years and years this was always my sister's big project, but now that she has left, I've kind of taken it upon myself to make it my project, is packing shoeboxes is addicting, okay? You do one, you do two, and then all of a sudden you're like making ten, because it's just, it's fun. I, you just want to do it. You just want to get those boxes filled. You think of that, the child who actually will receive it. Like this box I have right here with me, is for a girl um, 10 to 14 years old and so it probably actually will end up going to like a 12 year old girl um, somewhere in the world and that's to me what makes it addicting. You're touching real people and you're getting to bless and love them and just spoil them a tiny bit. I like the addicting aspect of packing shoe boxes. So now that I think I have shared with you all the points that I wanted to, I hope it wasn't too rambly, <laughs> um, I'm going to show you what is actually inside this box for a girl age 10 to 14, okay? This box is going to be a horse theme box. So I've never really done like a theme box, but I wanted to try and make a theme box this year. Not every single thing is horse theme, but a good, you know, I still feel like this is a horse box. Um, I really really hope that it goes to a girl who loves horses just as much as me. And I mean honestly though who doesn't really love horses because like they're so beautiful and majestic and I feel like horses are the symbol of free. You know wild and free and it's just okay it's so beautiful. Okay we need to start. So I have a plastic shoe box. This is just a standard box. We're gonna take off the lid. Okay so the first thing on top was this I draw horses. This is like a drawing book and it gives you the little example and then you can practice um, on the side. Now this is all um, English instructions but I feel like even if you don't read English you could still learn from the pictures and you could still enjoy it. I have a green notebook. This is 120 pages. She is going to get three headbands and these are kind of like nice sparkly headbands. This is kind of a thing that I put in all of my boxes this year and I really like this idea. I found an inflatable globe and what I've actually done is I put a little red star um, where I actually live in the United States. You know they can not only learn about the world but they can know where their shoebox came from. So I really really love this idea. Um, I put one in every single one of my older boxes this year. Then I have this little horse playset and in the playset we have the corral pieces. We have two horses like two adult size horses. We have two foals. 
to play with. We have a bale of hay and then we have a feeder with some hay in it that you could, I guess, clip on the fence. So this is the little horse play set. I have a cup and in the cup there is this little black horsey. To me it reminds me of like Black Beauty. That's who this reminds me of. So she's gonna get this really soft horsey and it's black. Black is like everyone's favorite color horse. I'm gonna give her this blue cup, um, something to drink out of. In the cup, there is a bouncy ball, an eraser, two glue sticks, and a comb. Then I have a washcloth and a bar of soap. She gets a box of crayons. Then I have this pack of pencils, a whole bunch of pencils, three pens, and a pencil sharpener. And so then we have this kind of a wow thing. And this is a mermaid locket. Can you see like how pretty like the little mermaid, mermaid scales on there? So there's a mermaid locket. Then I found this 100 piece horse puzzle. So that's very nice. Puzzles are always great boredom busters. And I, there is a green toothbrush in here. Some of the very last things are a pad of construction paper. You can write on it or decorate with it. Construction paper is just always fun. And the very last thing is this paper crown that I made and I put some jewels on it because we know that around here I really like crowns and tiaras. This year I kind of decided that um, I also wanted to share the cost of every single box. So I have on written here the cost of everything that is in the box. I will leave all of it in the description box and I will list the total for US, Canadian, Australian, and British. So you will be able to at least tell the total of that although I'm not gonna do all the conversions for each single piece. So the total of this horse box came out to be $12.53 US dollars. So basically I put this whole entire box together for like right under $13. So this is everything in my girls 10 to 14 horse theme box. And it's kind of got me interested in working on some more theme boxes next year. So I hope you like this video. I hope get some ideas. Um, maybe you are experienced shoebox packer. Maybe it will inspire you to pack one yourself this year. Either way, this was just my video to explain what I'm doing and what all these shoeboxes mean. I mean, basically I kind of think though in November we will totally completely be back to my normal content, but you can be sure you're gonna be seeing these videos again every October. So I think that is going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.